So I thought I'd make a little video here about my Series 1, uh, Top Series 1 2021 Supermaster um, set that I'm building. I'm almost done. What I have here is, I'll just go through the inserts and what I'm doing. So the inserts are the 100 card set of the 1986 35th anniversary, the 50 card set of the Topps Chrome 1952 Redux, the Cody Bellinger, uh, Tops uh, Target exclusive insert set. I think there's 30 cards in that. I've got all that. I've got the full set of the Stars and Service insert, which I'm not a big fan of, but whatever. Um, the History of Tops insert set. I've got the full set of that. I've got the full 25 card set of these um, die cut 70th anniversary cards, which are a little bit hard to get. So I've got the full set of that. I've um, got the full set of the Topps Home Run Challenge cards. These are all scratched off. I don't really care if they're scratched or unscratched. It's, it doesn't, I don't think that matters to the value once the season's over. The standard 52 Redux set, not the Chrome. The full 25 card set of the uh, 70th medallion that's in the blasters, retail blasters. Um, the... 70 years of tops uh, set. It's all 70 cards here. We've got, let's see here, get to the end of that. The full set of the tops through the years. A lot of people don't like these because they look like they have an auto, but they're not. They're just pictures of autos, which is dumb. Uh, I've got the full set of the mirror cards. It has a card on the front and the back. I've got the full 70 card set of the top 70 years chrome that are in the re one per retail tin. So this was kind of a hard set to put together, but the full 70 card chrome set of that. I've got almost the full set. Well, I do have the full set, I just have some cards on the way of the box toppers. Um, and then I've got the full set on the way. This is about half of it, but I've got the full set coming. The rest of the cards I need of the 1986 silver pack um, bonus packs that were in the hobby um, boxes. And then, so that's that. That's a 100 card set as well. One thing that I am missing, I'm missing the hobby spring training manufactured patches. And I think there's one other manufactured patch. So what I'm doing here is collecting all of the sets that are non-numbered. So if it's like numbered to 299 or something like that, I'm not collecting it. Uh, or if it's an auto or a relic, I'm not collecting it because those are unique for the most part. So that's why I'm collecting the patches, but not like autos and relics. And I'm not going to collect numbered sets, but here I've got the base set. I've almost got the full Walmart Royal Blue base set. I'm getting there on the Walgreens Yellow base. I'm getting there on the Rainbow Foil base. Then there's the uh, Gold Foil, which I have very few of. And then, then there's the Meyer Purple base, um, which I'm getting pretty close at too. But I'm still looking for a lot of these. If anybody has any free or whatever they want to give away, that's fine. I'd love to, I'll take any cards I can to complete, but I'm getting close. And then I do have some SPs. I'm not sure if I'm going to collect all the SPs. And then there's SSPs and then there's Super SSPs. The Super SSPs are like hundreds of dollars each. And even the SP, SSPs go up real high in price. Um, and I'm not necessarily sure if they're part of what I would consider a super master set or not. I kind of think they are, but I don't know. Those are, some of those get real expensive. So, um, yeah, this is what, this is series one. I'm going to do it for series two and I'm going to do it for update. And every single year, as long as it's affordable for me, I'm going to do a super master set starting in 20, 2021. I've actually got, start kind of did 2020 as well, but uh, so I may go back and do 2020 after the year's over um, and start at 2020 on forward making Supermaster sets. Uh, and these will be very rare and hard to come by. 
hard to put together um, later on as the years go by. So anyway, 